welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to film a dark smoky eye and I already have my foundation, my brows, concealer, highlight blush, I have all that done already. So we're just going to focus on eye makeup and I figured this would be a lot easier to make up with it. So I don't have anything on besides the primer and then brows and face makeup. So. The first thing that I'm going to start with is I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I'm just going to use a flat shader brush and then this is the Kat Von D Monarch palette and I'm just going to take the cream shade. Just highlight that brow bone really well. My Pandora is playing if you guys can hear that. Sorry. we need a transition shade and I'm going to use the Kat Von D shade and light eye palette and this is a Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just going to take this uh, I feel like it's like a peachy neutral color I'm going to take that and use that as the transition transition shade oh I say it like 10 times fast And this is basically what our shadows are going to blend into. And it's the transition shade is what really pulls the whole look together. And this doesn't have to be precise, just throw it in the crease and blend it up on that brow bone. So next, I'm going to take a flat shader brush and this is a just an eye contour shader brush, I don't know if you can see this. It's pretty flat. I'm going to go in the Monarch palette and I'm going to use this shade right here. Just pack that on that flat shader brush. So you will have some fallout with these shadows, but where I've already powdered my concealer, I can just wipe it away. So just pack that right on the lid. And try not to go above the lid into the crease because we're going to blend that out with another color in that crease. I'm going to use something with a sharp edge, a flat sharp edge, just so I can kind of create some definition towards the end of my eye. And I'm going to pack that collar on one more time. Then I'm going to wet my brush with a little bit of this setting spray. You can use Six Plus, eye drops, regular water, whatever you want to use. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's kind of silver. This one right here. Use the same brush. I think that sh shadow is called Delaney. I don't know. 
We're going with it. I'm going to pack that right on the center of that eyelid. So the color difference isn't really too dramatic. I just want to give the lid a little pop. And the same to the other eye. So then I'm going to go in with my finger. And this middle color right here, it's kind of a silver shimmery. It's really uh, light. And I'm going to also pack that on the center of the lid. Um, this art brush, it's basically a MAC 217, only it's not MAC, it's an art brush, so it's kind of like a dupe for that, with no product on it, and I'm just going to buff out that crease. Dome crease brush. This one's, I think, crown. And just kind of like a new, neutral taupe color. I'm going to use this one in that Monarch palette right here. Tap off the excess and buff that right into the crease. And blend, blend, blend. We want all of that to be really seamless. No harsh lines whatsoever. I think it's coming together. I don't know. What do you guys think? So I'm going to go back to my original um, Sigma E40 with no extra product and just really buff that out one more time just to make sure we get everything blended out really well. Okay, let's do it again. Now I want to add a little bit more definition to the crease, but I always like to do that last, and I like to do my winged liner first, since I am going to do winged liner with this look. My favorite is the NYC liquid liner. This is like just a few dollars at the drugstore, and it beats any high-end drugstore whatever eyeliner that I've ever tried. So once you have your wing liner done, um, add a little bit of mascara. I already did one coat of mascara. It's really hard for me to film a uh, wing liner on camera, so maybe that could be like another video separately, like by itself. So once you have your wing liner done and your mascara, um, the lashes I'm gonna use today are House of Lashes Bambi. And I already put glue on them. This is the little box they come in. I've already taken them out of the box, but um, these are my favorite lashes, House of Lashes. And while we wait for like our mascara to dry and those lashes to be ready to put on, I like to let them get a little bit tacky. I'm going to work on the lower lash line. So first the color that I'm going to use is that transition shade from the Kat Von D palette with just a fluffy brush. Just throw that under there does not have to be perfect at all. A little angled brush, kind of like an eyeliner eyebrow brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of this Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black. And I'm just going to line my lower lash line and stay really true to my lash line. But I'm also going to connect from that wing down. And 
And then this is, I'm pretty much gonna only come halfway in, maybe not even that far. And just stop it there. Because we want to get the lower lash line definition, but we're really going to smoke out our um, our upper lip, so I don't want to do anything too crazy. Sorry, I have a mirror right here. That's what I'm looking into. I'm gonna go back into this Monarch palette and we're gonna use the black shade and it is called Wrath. So we're gonna use Wrath. And I'm gonna take a flat shader, uh, tapered, shader, tapered brush. That was a tongue twister. And barely dip it into that black. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to connect from my crease to where my crease and the wing meet each other just like uh, a fourth of the way in. And I want to stay right in that crease. So if you kind of raise your eyebrows a little bit when you do this, you can see where your crease is. And without any extra product, I'm going to just blend that line upwards. And see how that added so much more definition already to the eyelid? And so I basically go back and forth until I get them as even as I want them. So I'm going to take that um, 217 type brush and just blend that out one more time right in there. I'm not adding any extra product to that tapered angled brush. I'm going to just blend out that gel liner on our lower lash line just a little bit, just to smoke it out a little bit. So there's no harsh lines, but I really want to keep it on that lash line. I'm going to take that angle or that 217 type brush again. And I'm going to take the neutral shade that we used on our upper lid, just a little bit, and I'm just going to blend that, oops, to blend this all together down here. So once you have your lashes on, do a little bit of mascara on your lower lash line, which I have already done. And then I'm going to take these, um, they're just Ardell individual lashes, they're tweezers. I have already squeezed out a little bit of my Duo Lash Adhesive on a surface. Put a few of these on my lower lash line to kind of match the fluffy lashes on top. that you are um, pushing these lashes up 
because you want them to stick out and not lay flat so they look more natural that way. So once you have those lower lashes on, I'm going to take this um, little NYX Pearl Shadow and Nude and highlight our inner corner. I'm going to use this uh, Precision Round Blender Brush. So to finish off this look, I'm going to use a little bit of Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics with Jaclyn Hill, which is my favorite highlighter right now. And I'm also going to highlight on the inner corner a little bit, on the brow bone. I feel like when you have a dark smoky eye, when you highlight on the brow bone, it kind of brings everything together and still keeps your eyes really bright. Put that on the nose, the chin. And I have a small fluffy brush that I'm just going to use the so then for the lips, I have lined my lips with NYX Nude Lip Liner, and I'm going to take this Soft Matte Lip Cream in Buenos Aires. Ooh. Just for a little touch of color. And then I'm going to take MAC Myth Lipstick and do a highlight right in the center. You guys notice I painted my nails. <laughs> and now for some setting spray. And that finish off, finishes off this look. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up or share it or like it, whatever. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.